So our first step in solving for the x and y components of this vector is to start at the tail of the vector, so in this case right here at the origin, and then just draw a line horizontally to the right. This is going to represent the x component. We could probably call that r sub x. And then we draw another line that goes straight up from the tip of that previous vector. So this component will be r sub y. And now we have ourselves a right triangle, and we can use some basic trigonometry to solve for these components. Take a look at this right triangle, and you should see that the cosine of the angle is going to equal the side that is adjacent to the angle, so that would be r sub x, over the hypotenuse of the right triangle, which is r. And so we can just go ahead and plug in some values here. The question notes that the angle is 30 degrees, so we have the cosine of 30 degrees is equal to r sub x over the magnitude of this displacement vector, which was 15 meters. We now just multiply both sides of the equation by 15 meters so that we can cancel on the right-hand side. And then we can pick up our calculators, make sure that you are in degree mode on your calculator. And 15 times the cosine of 30 is approximately 13. And this would be the answer for the x component, 13 meters. So that is the correct answer for r sub x. Let's take a look at r sub y. Again, we'll use some trigonometry. This time we'll say that the sine of the angle is equal to the side that is opposite of the angle, which would be r sub y, over the hypotenuse of our right triangle, which again is r. We can fill in the same data as before. So the sine of 30 degrees is equal to r sub y all over 15 meters. And then we'll multiply both sides of the equation by 15 meters, just like before. We'll pick up our calculators, we'll multiply 15 by the sine of 30, and we get 7.5 meters. And that is going to equal r sub y. That is the correct answer for part b of the question. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. If you're interested in making a small donation to my cause, I would greatly appreciate it. But of course, please do not feel obligated to do so.